Good morning. <clears throat> this is another one of those early morning coffee sipping videos. Uh, this morning, this morning, it's the pig that came out. Uh, I suppose there was a bit of pig last night that came out at the meeting. There was a there was a meeting to introduce the um, proposed premier for Gauteng. At a meeting at one of the local churches and I attended that a number of us attended that but I attended it because I wanted to listen um, and it was worthwhile going it wasn't entirely a pleasant experience but it was worthwhile going um, uh, Solly Msumanga who is the DA's choice for <clears throat> the Premier should they be elected to power provincially, nationally um, I think is probably a good choice he he speaks well and I sense truth when he speaks which is an important thing for me certainly he speaks it better he speaks it more plainly than a lot of other people <clears throat> now so that was a good thing and i in fact look forward to talking more to him about various things that i have a maybe a slightly different perspective of being on the on the ground you know one of the normal people I look forward to talking to you, Solly, further and seeing, well, getting your thoughts on what the situation actually is. Um, I've no, not, not uh, for a while spoken about all the political nonsense, but I've made it fairly clear in the past that I despise the system and the majority of the people that play the game. I have little time for politicians. That being said, obviously, I understand the necessity for it. Excuse the, excuse the noise of the plane flying over. Normally, it's the damn barking dogs from the idiots across the way. <laughs> if you're sitting there wondering about why I'm calling people idiots, go and look up the etymology of the word idiot. Anyway. <clears throat> the real focus of this video this statement this coffee sipping thing this morning is about the ward councillor now i didn't think i would have to make another video about our new ward councillor because her predecessor was was a problem her predecessor was bad enough i spent a lot of time many hours trying to point the predecessor in the correct direction and despite all of those efforts and the efforts of others that went astray and ego got in the way and the entire house of cards came tumbling down now i made a comment last night <clears throat> when things erupted into unhappiness about communication I want to clarify some of that. For those of you that weren't there, uh, there was a gentleman in the crowd, there were a couple of people obviously in the crowd that were concerned about a local municipal issue. Now, it's quite obvious that the person that's coming there to represent that party in their capacity, in their future potential capacity, is not there to talk about municipal issues. It's quite obvious. And yes, as some gentleman in the crowd pointed out, these people can't do anything until they're elected into power. Obviously. We are so far beyond that thinking that we do not need to state it. However, let's, for the record, let's, let's just state that that is the fact. It's quite obvious. Anyway, the person was concerned about the fact that there was an electrical issue that has obviously been outstanding in the area. This is to do with the infrastructure, the electrical infrastructure and illegal connections and all of those uh, modern South African things. 
<laughs> illegal connections, illegal mining, illegal this, illegal that. Anyway, so the concern was about the issue that <clears throat> people were being shocked in the shower or while running the tap or something. And obviously there's, there's lots of concern with that. And of course the concern was heightened because there are children being shocked, you know, toddlers. It doesn't make the problem any worse, of course, it just it's, it makes it more emotive and um, understandably. The point I was trying to make at the time <clears throat> was that the way to deal with that is on a factual basis. And this is where you as the ward councillor come in, Ms. Birkus. Get the information and act on it as best you can. Try to placate the citizen, the potential supporter. Work on what you can within the system. Don't promise, don't promise things that are impossible. But above all, don't stand up and in a condescending manner berate your potential supporter for their actions and their attitude. They are not interested in what you think of their attitude. You are not living their lives. Their lives are full of their troubles, not yours. But if you take the approach that they are in the wrong, even if they are in the wrong, and I'm not saying they are, but even if they are, if you take the approach and publicly belittle them, tell them that the reason things are the way they are is because of how they have acted in the past. Whether it's true or not is irrelevant. The only result of that is going to be kickback from the people that you are expecting to support the effort. Your effort. Now, I would have thought that this is pretty damned obvious. Just now I said that I'd put in a lot of time, many hours, many, in fact, many hundreds of hours into your predecessor and, and uh, his antics, let's call them that. Tried to give him direction. Um, those, those hours weren't spent solely on him. They were also spent on his superiors, people up, up the chain, as it were, those people that are up the chain from you currently. Many of them expect a level of behavior that there, seem, there seems to be an unspoken thing here. It's like there's the expectation and it seems to be to, to the great, the great part unspoken and as it should be because people should behave in a particular way. But I think in things like this, where you are somewhere down toward the lower rungs of the ladder politically, you shouldn't have high expectations of your own station in, in the situation. You should rather be looking at what it is that you can do to gain support, capture the minds of people that are the same people that tick the little box when they go to the polling station. And you should also do well to realize that your behavior will indicate how those people behave when they go to the polling station in terms of voting for other representatives of your party. I wouldn't think that I actually have to spell any of this out, but it seems to be a necessity. It does seem to me that many people involved in political careers don't seem to be able to see beyond the the self-interest part. Now, you're all human. You are human. Whatever that means now. But it's not about you. Or well, it certainly shouldn't be all about you. It should be about the people that put you there. Should be. But we all know that that's not quite how it works. It should be about the people that 
pay rates and taxes. And really all they want is a simple, it, it's a simple recipe really. You know, you, a little bit of maintenance, uh, a little bit of safety, you know, let's get rid of the, the criminal element. All, all of those things, all the obvious stuff. But when it starts becoming about you putting your brand on it and putting your, you know, your authority on it, you're going to find that that doesn't work well. I, for one, and I probably speak for many other people, I, for one, am not enamored with the thought that you should stand in front of me and talk in a condescending manner. If you want to get into a mudslinging match, you should do that somewhere else. There is, there's no good end to that. What you should be doing is listening. You should listen and answer diplomatically. And <laughs> thinking about it while I'm waffling on here, I shouldn't even need to make these statements. It really is. You shouldn't be playing the game if you need to be told this. But I am telling you this because <clears throat> clearly it's not obvious to you. I hope you get to this point in the video actually and you listen to this because this is important. Clearly it's not obvious to you. And I have no doubt that you will be working tirelessly to try and get me out of out of the picture brush me aside because being part of the ward committee I'm, I'm an elected part of that ward committee <clears throat> a representative to some extent of the people in the ward and it's quite clear that people don't like confrontation people and understandably especially especially when the product or well, the reason behind that confrontation is, is, is of their own making. So it's quite clear to me that you will be doing whatever you need to do to, in some way, get rid of me. Now, I would suggest you don't put too much effort into that because eventually I will decide to remove myself from the game because I don't see a great deal of hope in the way things are structured currently. So I will probably just fade away into obscurity somewhere along the line and your political aspirations you might then be free without my interference to go and exercise whatever you your your will in, in whatever way you can to to further your career you can say whatever you want about wanting to do this for the people and i would warn you that what you say and what you do are two different things or rather they should be aligned they should be pretty much the same thing but when the two when the two things are different when those two things are not aligned there we have a problem and right now we have a problem you're saying one thing and this doesn't only apply to you the ward councillor it applies to just about anyone now involved in any political sphere in this country, any level of government, including municipal. But when those two things are not aligned, then you are not creating a situation for future growth. You are not creating a situation where people will trust what you say. You might have images of Richard Nixon popping up in your head with fingers waving in the air. That's how it is. So my final advice to you is listen to the people that put you in the position that you are in. Don't be condescending. Not without very good reason and very good evidence. And try and understand that it's not about you. It's actually about trying to make it better for everybody. And when you do get that right, when you do make it better for everybody, simply it gets better for you as well.